hello everyone welcome to the channel once again in this video we'll learn about these databases master web and core databases what role they play in site core and how we can scope this databases so that we do not by mistake do any error or do any misconfiguration so what is this master database master database is actually is authoring database all the changes that you make are stored in master databases it contains all versions of any content that you write so this is the master database now when you publish any item then it goes from master database it goes to a web database the web database contains only the current version of that item and this is kind of you can understand that ma master any changes you make is master would be a dev database and web would be a production database i am simplifying it in actual scenario this is not the case because you have then various nodes and various servers but this way you can understand so all the changes that you make is a master database and when you publish it it goes to the web database now what is this core database actually core database is the database where most of the site core settings are stored it stores all the dotnet membership providers like all the users and roles which you configure or which are contained in the site core it is stored in the core database it contains definition of the site core interfaces as well like content editor page editor etc is in the core database only and as i say sp.net membership tables that drive authentication and security is also stored in the core database only so this is a high level understanding of master web and core databases now if you have connected with the site core rock and you have to make changes generally we will make changes in the master database not in web and core if you expand it it hierarchy is same so by mistake you can commit like you can make changes in the this in the web database in place of master database so to avoid that changes what i do i always scope this so what you can do is you can right click here and then scope to this so once you scope this whenever you will connect you will see only master database other database will not you will not be able to see so in this way you will make any changes in the master database only not in the web database if you want to see all the databases you can just right click and unscope this so then you will be able to see other databases also so this is pretty handy where you protect yourself from making changes by mistake in the web database so that's all for this video thank you so much if you are liking the videos please do subscribe to the channel it means a lot to me and it motivates me a lot to make more videos channel is in it's is infant stage so your support is required for the growth of the channel so please do like share and subscribe the channel thank you so much